birthday. Oh, thank you. We wish you long life and prosperity. Thank you so much. Oh, Today's your birthday. Yes. And thank you for forgetting. Oh, it's not like that. Too. It's not like I forgot. I just remember. When you don't remember, it means you forgot. Okay, sorry. I didn't mean to forget. Happy birthday, long life and prosperity. <laughs> thank you very much. I got something for you. Really? It's inside. Wow, thank you. You're such a good friend. Thank you. Ah, uh, sorry. I didn't get you anything because I forgot. But don't worry, I'll get you something tomorrow. Hmm? Mm. So, birthday girl, how old are you today? Um, has the doctor resumed? Um, no, he hasn't. Ah, thank God. Hi. Now, Sissy, eh? I asked you a question. What question was that? I said, how old are you today? How are patients doing? Very well. Oh, okay. <laughs> what about the lady with the typhoid case? Oh, she's getting better. She should be discharged today. Vera. Now, Sissy, mm? I asked you a question. I said, how old are you today? Um, let me quickly change for today. I'll be right back, eh? Hurry up. Oh, City. Yes. I, I just asked you the same question three times downstairs and you refused to answer. What question is that? For the fourth time, how old are you today? Oh, that's I'm trying three. I'm not talking about your football age, I mean your real age. I'm not a footballer, so why would I have a football age? I was wondering. So tell me, your real age. I've just told you, I'm 23. That's impossible. Um, what was impossible about that? It's my age and I know how old I am. You can't be 23. Last year you were 23. Two years ago you were 23. Come on. Then there must be a mistake somewhere. Because I know I just turned 23. Why do I have a feeling you're lying to me? Why would you think I'm lying? Do I look older than 23? As a matter of fact, I don't think you're lying. I know you're lying to me. Ugh, what's your problem? Why don't you just accept whatever age I give to you? No, I won't accept it. Because I accepted the same lie last year. I accepted the same lie two years ago. This year, I will not accept it. <laughs> At least I'm better than you are. I've told you my age. Nobody knows your age since you've been working here in this hospital. At least I'm better than you. I'd rather not say anything than lie. You asked me this at reception three times and I didn't answer, so you still came here to ask me again. Just pretend I never answered, since you think it's better not to answer than to tell lies. No. Since you've chosen to tell your age, you had better come up with the truth. Why would you want to lie about something as irrelevant as an age? If it's so irrelevant, how come you never told us your age? <laughs> well, it's not my birthday today, it's yours. Oh, I see. You're bent on spoiling my mood today. I won't let that happen, okay? No, I won't accept it. You are not 23. I know you're 23 when I see one. You can't be 23. I really have a big problem. And today is my birthday. I won't let you spoil my mood. Excuse me. You can't be 23. Ah, ah. You are my problem, so come and solve it. It'd be like saying the city and the Sabi don't start again. Oh. I hear then they argue for inside their dressing room. And it'd be like saying then they argue about age. Hmm. No, Sabi is a troublemaker. troublemaker. I, don't I don't know what her problem is with Nostiti's age. She asked Nostiti her age, and Nostiti did not answer. The next minute she followed Nostiti inside to ask again. Hey? Okay. Nostarisa, be sincere to yourself. Does Nostiti look 23? I don't know. How can't you know? She lied to me in there that she's 23, and now you're lying saying you don't know? Biliki, yeah. does Nostiti look 23? Yeah, I don't know that one. Oh. But to be like, say, you go old past the city. Are you stupid? What do you mean I'm older than the city? So, the issue is about you being older than her? Yes. I am very sure she is older than 23. I am very sure of that. And what does it matter if I'm older than 23? Oh, now you know you're older than 23. So, how old are you? I am 23. Then I'm 16. No. I used to think that the common issue was people claiming to be older than others. I don't expect you, Nurse Abigail, to expect Nurse Titi to be older than you. The problem with Nurse Abigail is that she sees me as a threat. So she wants me to be older than her in order for her to feel young and see herself as someone who has time by her side to achieve certain things in life. So Nurse Abigail, is that the issue? <laughs> Judging by what she just said now, any intelligent person would know that she is the one seeing me as a threat. That's why she's always lying about her age. You know what? Both of you can just keep your ages to yourselves. So how old are you? Where is my sister? She's busy inside. You're supposed to be here yesterday for your last injection. Oh, I forgot. 
Maybe that's because I'm feeling very fine now. And I hope you've been taking your drugs. I still took them yesterday. Which means you've not taken them today. How bad, Jane? That you're feeling okay doesn't mean you shouldn't complete your dose. So avoid relapse, my dear. Okay, I'll take them as instructed. Good. I don't think I can wait for my sister anymore. Maybe one of you should come attend to me so I can leave on time. I have a birthday party to attend. And where is that? His birthday. My friend's birthday. Today's actually Nasty's birthday. Are you serious? Yes. Happy birthday, Nasty. Thank you. Abba, you shouldn't be here then. You should be somewhere celebrating. Uh, really, nothing to celebrate about. Why? Are you not happy you're a year older? 23. She's actually 23 today. Can you, you imagine? Happy girl, she didn't ask you that. 23? Is that possible? Why is it not possible? Do I look older than 23? I'm 23 years old. Oh. Are you serious? That your age mates. Wow. Okay, call me. Are your treatments my age mates? <laughs> Give me a fault. My age mates. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh. oh, oh. oh, oh. oh, oh. Jane was here earlier today and she said she couldn't wait for you, so Nasiti attended to her. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. And she said she was 23. How come? Why did she tell you her age? Did you ask her? No, we were only gisting. And she said her and Nasiti were age mates. Abigail, mm -hmm. please don't start. Tell me the truth about your age and I won't start. Do you know what? Both of you should just forget about this age thing. As far as I'm concerned, it's nothing but a number. And it has little or nothing to do with certain achievements in life. There are people that are older than you and they are yet to have a boyfriend. And there are some people that are younger than you, but they are happily married. We all have our different lives to live. Uh, you're right, Nostaris, I agree with you. I think every lady should be proud of her age. And just like you said, we all have our different lives to live. Mm -hmm. So you should be proud to tell me your age now. And this time, no lies. Only if you promise you tell me yours too. Okay, I will. Okay, so how old are you? You tell me yours first and I'll tell you mine. No, you tell me yours and I'll tell you mine. Please, both of you just stop this argument. Huh? Stop this argument about who's going to tell each other our age first. Do you know what? I have an idea. Um, both of you write your ages on this piece of paper and exchange it. At least this will put an end to this argument. Good. Okay. Don't look now. Are you finished? Yes. Wait. This paper. this paper is blank. Sorry, I can't tell you my age. <laughs> but you know mine now. You chose to tell me. It wasn't as if I pointed a gun at your head to tell me your age. No, that's wrong. You promised we were going to tell her, so why didn't we write it? I lied. Huh. No, not Abigail. You promised and you must keep it. What are you going to do? Get me arrested. There is nothing on earth that will make me tell you guys my age. Nothing. 25. You know what, I'm in city. Just forget it, okay? You know how nothing as Abigail can be. Let her. Be. No, I won't let her be. Not now that she knows my age. I must make sure I know her age, either by hook or by crook. She thinks she's smart. I must know her age today by force. Whether she likes it or not, she must tell me herself and I'll make it so unbearable for her. Uh -uh. After she made me tell her my own age, it's not possible. She cannot continue to keep us a secret. She must tell me her age today. I must know. Anyhow, I want to know. Uh -uh. So, now this segment, are you and say, I'll be still the quarry of her? Yes. And don't tell me it's irrelevant because it is not. I must know her age today by force. 
But you suppose no say you go senior and sabi, you go behave like senior. Eh, why not go can they quarrel for this age matter? Keep quiet! Are you stupid? Why would you say I look older than her? Do I look older than her? Listen, I am young and beautiful. I am not old. And I'm sure she's older than me. No, Titi. I've told you countless times to forget about this issue. It doesn't matter who is younger. It matters to us, Teresa. I know Nos Abigail is closer to age 30. She does not just want to admit it. I know she's, cl she's closer to age 30. So it's now about who is closer to 30. Is age 30 now a stage of menopause or what? Now which one can be menopause? Hmm. Ulodo. It's a stage in a woman's life when she stops menstruating and can no longer get pregnant. It usually starts from age 40 to 50. And to some women, it could be later than that. I'm glad you know. So can you please tell me what it is about this age 30 that troubles you and Nurse Abigail so much? Tell me. Both of you have succeeded in stirring up my curiosity since the issue now is who is close to 30. Since I am close to 30, I want you to tell me what is so special about age 30 that you don't want to attain. That will make you think that the best way is to continue deceiving yourselves and lying about your ages. No, Teresa. Once you're 30 and above and still single in this country, people will start assuming there's something wrong with you. They will either think you have spiritual problems and that's why you're not yet married or you, you, you're not just a wife material to any man. So it's about getting married before age 30, right? Now listen, boy. Marriage is a lifetime contract. And sometimes a lady should be more concerned about who she's getting married to rather than rushing into marriage all because she thinks she's getting old. And rushing into marriage is one of the reasons why people endure their marriages rather than enjoy their union simply because they got married to the wrong person. But there are people who are married before age 30 and they are married to the right person. I'd rather be in such category. So, how old are you? No, Teresa. <clears throat> please, warn your city to stop asking me that question. Please. I will continue to ask you. Either you tell me peacefully or forcefully. I will ask you that. And, and I'll have to kill you if I tell you. I might kill you if you don't tell me. Get a knife. I will get a knife. I will kill you. you I will admit you in this hospital. And you will kill me and I will let you know if it's in this hospital you're going to kill me. I believe you will not take care of you. This has a lot of a Yes, I will hey, kill you. Can I will was I hearing any noise from people? Yeah. Um, actually, sir, um, it's no city's birthday today, and we're wishing a very big happy birthday. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> don't, don't. The patient in what be, but this morning he suddenly developed temperature again, so we still have to place him on admission. Here's his file. Nostity. Sir? Today is your birthday. Yes, sir. Happy, bir Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. So you can close at 4 o'clock, okay? So that you have the rest of the day to celebrate your day. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thank you very much, sir. But there's no need for me to close early today, sir. I don't have any plan to celebrate. You don't seem to be very happy that today's your birthday. <laughs> no, not really. It's just that I don't have anything to celebrate about. Okay. I understand you. Um, you are one of those who are very ungrateful to say thank you to God for whatever it is he has done for you. No, not really, sir. Uh, sir, it's just that I, I, I have lots who have achieved at the age of 25, but I'm here to achieve most of them. <laughs> and you think that there's no undeserved blessing for which you, you should be thanking God? Listen. You work in this hospital as a nurse. And every day you see patients brought in here. So the fact that you are hale and hearty is not enough for you to say thank you to God? Not really, sir. It's just that I've always dreamt to be married at this age, you know, have one or two kids, but... 
And because you don't have it, you think you have the biggest problem on planet Earth. Come on, my dear. You are just 25 years old. You are still young. Young at 25? So the society believes otherwise. It is, it is not the society. It is you. Okay? Listen. You have a wonderful career as a nurse in this hospital. You are the youngest amongst your other colleagues here. Your other colleagues who are much older than you are still not married. I have told you, you are still very young to be worried about this marriage. There's enough time for that. Just be happy. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I truly appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, sir, did you say I'm the youngest in this hospital? You didn't know that? No. I know Nurse Teresa is older than I am, but I thought Nurse Abigail is younger. <sighs> Nurse Abigail is 26 years old. Are you serious, sir? You all applied to me at this hospital to work here. And in your CVs, you wrote your dates of birth. So I know when I say that Nurse Abigail is 26 years old. Okay. This is good to know. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. staring at me like that and you can't see my age in my eyes. Huh. I am not looking for your age in your eyes. I'm trying to get a closer look at your face so that I'll see all the wrinkles your makeup is hiding. Because I know you are older than I am and you are closer to age 30. Titi, I told you to let this matter rest. Yes, I will allow the matter rest now that I know her real age just the way she knows mine. <laughs> Once again, if you wish. Ah, where are you going to miss 26 years old? You can keep guessing for all I care. You can't know my real age. Oh no, it's no guess. It's from a reliable source. The doctor told me your real age and I know that you are older than I am. <laughs> the doctor is not my father and whatever he told you is not a fact. Yes, the doctor is not your father but it's your employer that you submitted your CV to when you came to look for work in this hospital. And only if you lied about your date of birth and the CV. But my dear, I know you're 26 years old. But how can the doctor reveal such vital information? It's supposed to be confidential. Oh, relax and don't shout too much. Shouting is not good for old people, you know. Now that you know her age, what are you going to do about it? Nothing. I'll just wallow in the satisfaction of the knowledge that I am the youngest nurse in this hospital. And are you going to get paid for being the youngest nurse? Oh, my dear, knowing that you are older and you are closer to age 30 is worth more than a billion dollars. And I'm going to tell anyone who cares to listen that you are older and closer to age 30. <laughs> let's have a let's continue what we're sorting out, huh? So, when you get them, they just... Let's have a girl. Why is your face like this as if one of your best secrets has just been discovered? But how can the doctor reveal my age to anyone? Listen of all not, Titi! I am not in the mood to work today! I hope you will be in the mood to answer a query by the time I report you to the doctor that you are not doing your job. Oh,